Good morning, modern steaders. Can you hear that? Shh, not the roosters. Do you hear the rain on the metal roof? That's right, it's raining out. Good thing we got our project done the other day. Now we got something to do in the rain, and we'll stay dry. Before we get started and it's raining too hard, let's go in the pasture and let the pigs out. I don't want to get the camera too wet. Good morning, girls. Do you want to come out? I bet you do. Right when I was getting ready to go outside and do all the morning chores with Pluto, I looked out the door and I saw a deer eating some fast food. I'm going to put a little bit of that video in right now. Now that's a fun way to start your morning out. I hope you can hear me, and I hope you enjoy listening to the relaxing sound of rain on the metal roof. A lot of people like that sound. We were at the lumber yard, yes. When we were at the lumber yard the other day, we picked up some coil nails and a couple of sheets of plywood. The plywood we're going to rip down to 36 inches and throw it in the attic. So we have a main alleyway that we can store some stuff up in. So you got some nice little storage right here in the center alleyway. We got a little over four feet to the peak, so we can store some bigger stuff up here. We're not going to worry about storing anything over on the sides. It'd be kind of a pain to get it all in there. We have this, and if we turn around, we have that. So we have three feet by 16 feet by four feet high to store stuff up here. That will work out nicely. 20 inch wide opening here. So we'll make that square when we're putting the roof up. When we're putting the ceiling in, we'll leave a square hole here, 20 by 20. And that'll give us nice access to upstairs. That'll be most of the cutting for the day, except for what we have to cut around the hole to get up to the attic. So it's pretty good. So right now I'm trying to figure out the best way to put up and install these full length pieces of rough sawn lumber for the ceiling. I'm thinking if I start on this end, put it up, I slide it down and then I can rest it over there, put one end up and start nailing it and working my way across. That's what we're going to try to do anyways. The first couple of pieces are always the fun ones. That's when you learn your mistakes and go, oh, this is how I'm going to do it better. Let's start figuring it out. That's what would help if we plug our air tools in. Thank you. 
probably a good halfway closed up so far. Let's keep cranking on it. I might have to reposition the shot further back on the board, but to that rain I am glad I had this project planned ahead of time I didn't have all these boards cut to like I'd be sitting on the couch inside not being very happy I'm glad I can work in the outdoor kitchen with a roof on it and get the ceiling put up
wide board. Let's see how much. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. But we'll get it. We always do. I'll have to get down there and get that end up. We got the sailing up on the inside, it looks nice. I'm very happy with it. I'm really loving the random widths and the random coloring. So what we have left to do is we gotta do the overhang here. The front overhang, let's see if we can get that. The front overhang, because this was too long for the boards we had. And then we have the eave overhang on this side. But it's nice to have the interior all boarded up. Got a nice access hole still to the upstairs. I like the red on that board. I don't know what it's from. It looks like somebody spilled beet juice on it. The pigs are having fun. What are you doing? You're crazy. <laughs> it was nice to have a rainy day project to do outside today when I was coming down like crazy. I hope it didn't mess up the audio too much. I guess I'm gonna find out in a few minutes when I go inside and do the editing. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna work on trying to build a website. I've never done anything like that before, but you know what, what the heck, let's try figuring it out. We're gonna build a website so that way we can have a place where all the modern setters can come and get all the recipes and all the other fun stuff you're always asking for. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it's really helping the channel grow and we thank you for that. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that little bell button that turns on notifications every time we upload a video. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Them pigs are going crazy.